The election results are in, and holy snap, a bunch of Vladimir Putin wannabes seem to be taking over in Europe. Specifically, Viktor Orban won big in Hungary. The only good news is, since no one gave Donald Trump an all-caps memo saying, do not congratulate, Trump did not call him to congratulate. The European Union, all about international cooperation, but every once in a while we like to indulge in a little bit of good old nationalism. Teaches you to take pride in shit you've never done and hate people you've never met. How to deal with EU nationalism? Well, I had a chance to talk with some EU leaders last week, and it turns out it's not as bad as you might think. I was hosting an event organized by students as you can tell from this intro. For United States of Europe, I'm here on location at Erasmus University for this thing, EFR, Business Week. Well, we'll see what questions I get to ask European leaders in a moment. Leaders such as former French President Francois Hollande. Like, less than a year ago, French President Hollande. I mean, these days he's mostly known for turning over the keys to the current guy, Macron, but he's also known for being a bit gangsta. So, which version would we get today? As host, I got to sit right next to him. And here he is, going over his notes, listening to the translation, with a headset that messed up his hair. But did he care? No. Hollande was pretty scripted, basically promoting his new fondation. France s'engage. It's like Emmanuel Macron's En Marche, but as difficult as possible to find online. Luckily, I got to host the Q&A, so I put it to the followers on social media. Any questions you'd like me to ask him, uh... Hit me up! And here's what I got. A dig at their cheese compared to Dutch cheese. Please, people, ask your query in the form of a question. How mad are you the French didn't invent the French fries? Hollande was like, I don't want to talk about it. And was Alfred Dreyfus guilty? Yes, guilty of having a hilarious granddaughter. But you also asked how to deal with extreme right-wing extremism on the rise in Europe. Not just extremism. Extreme extremism! And I suppose you mean specifically in places like Hungary, but also in countries like Poland, Slovakia, countries that are embracing the idea of MAGA, make authoritarianism great again. Now, Francois Hollande actually had an answer to this question. It was basically, don't panic, have faith, and European rule of law. The rule of law which is already having an effect in countries like Hungary, where Viktor Orban's media puppet master is under investigation by the EU's anti-fraud office, Olaf. Not to be confused with that Olaf. Although, when Europe freezes this guy's assets, it could be called Olaf's frozen adventure. As for Poland, the rule of law means Brussels has tools and will use them, like invoking Article 7 and sanctions for breaching EU law. Law. And in Slovakia, rule of law means a brief moment of liberal optimism, where they saw large protests and the resignation of Prime Minister Fico. So yes, the rise of populism could be seen as a threat to the West and endangers the character of the Union. But as America would say, our character has always been a little bipolar, or as a French leader might say, Vive la différence! Wait, modern day America as a role model for the EU? As the US president might say, America first, Holland second. <laughs> <laughs>